data into one corner and then into another corner. You can actually apply the brake into the right and into the left. If you have the whole hand for sure you will apply it to the left. You'll let go of the brake, then go right and then brake again. This creates a lot of movement in the bike. So this is what that would become more smooth on the bike. Uh, this is helps you control the, the handling on the bike, but also the position of your of your body. So please try to change the two fingers if you are not using two fingers. Please try for tomorrow to, to think just two fingers always. The other thing that I see a lot is uh, nearly everybody. When you're riding, you're very much on your toes on the foot pegs, which I know you've been told this is correct when you first start to get the license or start to ride. From the street, yes, I say is okay. Because many times you're riding for many hours, one gear, just ride. On the circuit, you're changing gears always, up gears, down gears, corner, 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 corner. From my experience, if you, you, if you ride on the toes, when you move on the bike, from side to side, if you're on your toes, you really only use the half muscle of your leg, the very small one. You do, because you're a tippy toe, you're like this. This for sure, you'll become very tired very quickly. And normally by one day, this leg will be finished after every afternoon. Yes, all right, I'll see many people nodding their head. This is not because you are not fit. It's because you are riding incorrectly with your feet. What we do now is uh, we actually drive more on our heels, feet more forward. Whenever it's down the straight, this way you can change, move the gear lever at any time without having to step forward and back. This to show the bike will stay a lot more stable because you are not trying to move your foot whilst braking or entry into the corner. And for sure, with this style, you can actually grip the bike more with your legs, not with your knees. So we use this part of the leg. This part for moving. Now this muscle is the muscle that you use on the bike. It's a much bigger muscle, so for sure you'll be much longer before you start to feel the tightness. But also, it gives you a much better balance on the bike because when you lift, you are lifting straight up. When you're on your toes and you lift, you'll either push forward or back. So you must pull or push on the handlebars. This is also incorrect. If you're on your feet, you can actually stand and not really push or pull. This is what I see a lot of people they ride into the corner, the bike is quite squirrely, not quite smooth. It's normally because your feet are in the wrong position, so your, your pressure on the handlebar is not as it should be to make the bike more smooth. These are the two things that I would actually suggest that everybody tries to change the tomorrow. Just the two fingers, and really get away from being on your toes to more forward to the feet. Of course, when you arrive right into the corner, you go inside to your toe, as normal. But whenever it's riding or straight, always get back to flat feet. These are the first two things I really try to uh, adjust on most riders. For sure, it will feel quite different because now you'll be feeling this part of your leg working and not this. But you must stay at it. If you try just one lap and then mm, not too sure, I don't like the feeling. If you go back to your old, you'll stay at this level the whole time. It's not possible to go faster until you change. Many people think they want to go faster so they must brake later or get off the, the uh, brakes and go faster. A lot of it is actually more your body on the bike making the bike more free. 
So I'm only going to say two things today. I said five, but I think uh, for most of the people here, this, to do these two things will benefit the way you feel on the bike a lot, and it's enough to change without having to think too much. There's some other things, but tomorrow, if you go out and you, you find the two you feel is good, the leg is no problem. Please come to me and tell me, yes, I feel, because then I'll show you another thing. But I don't want to say too much now, because too much information, you get confused. So just think, just the brakes and the feet. This is going to definitely make you more comfortable on the bike. Yes? We're all going to do this tomorrow? Very good, very good. To do this, don't be afraid to slow down a little bit of your ultimate pace. Don't try to go the same speed and change the way you ride. Slow down. Go half the pace even. Until you get used to the comfort of this and what the bike is actually doing. Then you, your speed will come back. Don't try to go fast and change because you'll probably crash. <laughs> because it is quite different. The bike will want to work differently. You must feel the difference and adjust yourself. So we say in, uh, in racing, sometimes to go fast, you must slow down to understand and to feel. You just try to go fast, fast, but you never learn. So you must slow down to understand. Once you understand, then you'll go fast without thinking at all. Thank you very much. It's great. It's great to see all the people when you say that.